I told you we'd be back. Yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome to Leave Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. I'm trying my best, just say. <laughs> and we are back with Elvis Presley. And we are going back, well, well, not for the first time, actually, to the 68 special, or the 68 comeback special. It was released in December 3rd, or on December 3rd, uh, 1968. There is a lot of planning and a lot of stuff that went into it. I read a bunch of the the background on it. Um, it actually, when they were recording um, the what happened with Senator Kennedy, uh, not President Kennedy, Senator Kennedy, um, what happened, apparently that happened while they were rehearsing for it. And um, yeah, that was just uh, something I saw as I was looking it up. Apparently this is crazy. <laughs> so we're gonna be, uh, gonna be listening to Blue Suede Shoes and a medley. I think of like three other songs. I can't remember what the other three songs are. Hold on, I bet I can tell you in a second. Hold on. It is Heartbreak, Hotel, Hound Dog, and All Shook Up. That's the medley. And then Blue Suede Shoes, the full song. Sorry, it took a couple, maybe a month or two to get back to Elvis. I think it's been about a month. So uh, I was just clogged up with requests. I couldn't fit anything in. This isn't like a request by anybody. This is just me. I wanted to listen to more of this. So here we are. All right. If y'all aren't subscribed, please help a brother out. Click that icon right down there. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. First up, Blue Suede Shoes from the Comeback Special in 68. Elvis Presley. Three, two, one. Go. NBC too. His legs are itching. They're ready to go. Drink my liquor from an old fruit jar. I do anything you wanna do. I'm a honey lay hold of my shoes and don't you? Devil my blue suede shoes. All right. All right. You can do anything. Lay hold of my blue suede shoes. This day's presence is absolutely insane. Total confidence. Rhythm is sick. 
I know this one. Wow. <laughs> It's crazy how much times have changed in between him being gone. The girls aren't screaming like crazy like they used to. They're more used to, like they're used to it now. They still love it though. <laughs> my man has got some news and a voice. My hands are shaky and my knees are weak. I can't see the stand of my own feet. Who do you think I want your house as you love me a lot? I'm all shook up. That was awesome. I will never not say it. That man is... <laughs> He is so good on that stage, it's crazy. I mean, it's not, like the music is great too, obviously, but he is just on another level when it comes to that stage presence. All right, let me move that so maybe I can actually see the mic. Um, The first one, I, I think that was my favorite one, Blue Suede Shoes. And then the very beginning of Heartbreak Hotel, those are my favorite parts of it, definitely. Um, <laughs> That rhythm in uh, Blue Suede Shoes, I think, was, oh, it was kind of getting grimy there for a second. They were getting down. And the beginning, like I said, of Heartbreak Hotel, he was, that song, I kind of want to listen to the whole version of that now. Because I know that was just like a medley of three songs, so it's kind of a tease, you know. But I thought it'd be cool to see, because we haven't done it in a while. I think it's been like a month. And I can't remember what the last thing we did was. Was it Jailhouse Rock? Was that the last thing? I don't know, but... You guys know I love Elvis. Uh, I'm glad that you guys introduced him to me because, honestly, he's just like the Beatles. I never would have taken the jump on him without y'all, and I would always probably still have, you know, to this day, preconceived notions, you know, just like, oh, he's Elvis, you know. I didn't, I wouldn't have any clue about the actual, like, talent, skill, and effort, and just passion he had. You know, he loved, I think, what he did. I know that he wanted to be an actor. That was, like, his... You know, uh, I think not. I don't know if it was like his childhood fantasy or like that's what he wanted to do in life. You know, but I know that he was a very interesting individual, and there's a lot of them out there. Um, but he just happened to be a very talented, interesting individual, and I think that's what really sets him apart from the rest. He uh, he's got everything in spades. Like I know that he's got his shortcomings, just like any person does, especially me. You know, I understand completely, but I think uh, on that stage at least. Like, if, there's nobody that can touch him. You know what I'm saying? Just with that per uh, <laughs> the personality too. But like the, the charisma, the personality, the just I don't know, just the, the moves, man. <laughs> I love saying it. The man's got some moves. He really does. Like I know that he did karate and stuff. I don't know what exact like discipline he did, but he definitely you can see it up on stage. He has like such control of his body he can contort it in like any way that he needs to and just get down on the ground real quick start singing or go over here and do that like i've never i've never seen a lead singer do all that like from a band at least you know i know he's way more than a lead singer because he plays and writes music too i know that a lot of his music was i think mostly other people like half i can't remember i know a lot of his songs you know are covers of older you know artists and such but i think he just liked to pay homage to you know the people he grew up listening to because you know he did grow up in the ghetto and 
It's like me. I, I grew I grew up in a strange area. I, it's farmland, but it's also heavily. It's definitely the ghetto <laughs> in some parts. Uh, there are definitely some parts you do not want to be at a certain time of night. And uh, I, I kind of get him where he's coming from, and like you know his love for you know the African American community and stuff like that. Just like me, man, because where I grew up, I was a minority, but I, I rarely had issues with that. I, I I had a couple though. I can't you know I can't get on here and lie and say that there wasn't but for the most part everything ran smoothly and it, it, people are people and just how it is life is a uh, life isn't perfect and so isn't you know neither is our vision of it but we always think it's worse or better than it actually is it's just the life you know and uh people just get all wrapped up in the stupid stuff that doesn't matter not the things that do you know and i think elvis uh kind of personifies the fact that you can live your dreams. You can do whatever you want to do, no matter where you come from. You know, I, I I don't know. I think it was, was it Nashville? Is that where he was from? Or is it, I think it was one of those. It was, I know it's somewhere out in the Kentucky, Tennessee area. I think that's where he was from. Or it was in Memphis. Is it, oh, man, I can't remember. You know, I can, I, I can look it up. Hold on. I'm pretty sure it's Memphis. Hold on. Oh, he, whoa, he was born in Tupelo, Mississippi. Uh, but where did he grow up? In Memphis. Okay, so my second answer is correct. All right, I was either at Nashville or Memphis. Um, I don't know. I, he is so talented and just so entertaining. I think that's the number one thing is just how entertaining he is. He brings so much to the table, and it's just a blast. I wish the songs were longer. I know that you guys said that he's got some longer stuff out there. Um, I might check that out, you know, I kind of just wanted to get this out there and do some stuff for him because it's been a while and I really enjoy watching him, you know, it's one of those bands or one of those artists, I should say, that, um, once you get like the taste for it and like you, you know, get it past the blood brain barrier, you know, like you're just like, oh, I get it now. That's kind of what Elvis was for me too. It's the same thing with the Beatles, you know, I was just like, okay, now I get it. The first song, Day in the Life, by the end of it, I was like, oh my God, what have I been missing this whole time, you know? <laughs> That's kind of how I felt when I listened to the first Elvis track uh, a couple months ago. I was like, damn, I didn't know Elvis got down like that. Or maybe it was the second track, and maybe it wasn't the first, I can't remember. One of them, it was one of the first ones, and I was just like, okay, and now I want to hear more. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I definitely thought Blue Suede Shoes was my favorite out of all of them. Um, the driving beat and just his, you know, charisma and personality just makes it, yeah, it takes the kick easy. But the medley is cool. And it was cool seeing all the, you know, fashion and I guess what the girls look like in 68, you know. And it's funny how times had changed and they were used to it at, the, at that point. Like I said at the end of the video, uh, it's like, the, you know, from when he took his break and was an actor and did all that. And when he came back, the world had changed so much, like especially for... I don't know. I I think it, if I don't know what year exactly he left. I think he was gone for what like eight years, ten years, something like that. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I don't know. But he came back to a whole different landscape as an artist, and they still dug him, obviously. But they weren't like screaming and going crazy and hysterical. That also had to do with the culture at the time. I think when he was around, and you know, women had been <laughs> kind of repressed for a little bit. It seemed like you know, and everyone starts you know getting a little more freedoms as. Um, you know, World War Two, and did right the New Deal and all that stuff. I think it was around the same time, and just all the movements started and stuff. You know, civil rights and all that. That was like the early '60s, I think. You know, times had changed, and at least Elvis could come back and still kick ass. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed that. Patreon right there. Ooh, sorry. Stupid things always coming out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> that's a picture of it. There's a link in the description. If you join the $15 tier or up, you get one free request a month. If you join any of the tiers, you get access to all of our block videos and full album reactions. There's a lot of stuff on there. Hours and hours of it. And we'd love to have you. There's a patrons only Discord too if you want to come hang out and chat. We'd love to have you, like I said. And there's also a PayPal and Cash App as well. In the description, if you want to send a request, if you want to pick the next Elvis video, that's the way to do it. I will see y'all later.